Hi, my name is Mike Lumley. On behalf of Expert Village, I'm here to teach you pitching. So, um, what we're going to do is we're going to start off at first base, and the first thing we want to talk about is how we hold runners. Um, the pickoff is really not the only way to, to hold a runner here, and especially as a right-hander, uh, getting pickoffs is really not the main objective. Uh, pick off, picking somebody off at first base is really kind of a bonus out of the whole thing. Our whole premise every time that we have a runner on is really to work on uh, disrupting his timing, uh, disrupting any time, uh, just kind of keeping him off balance so he doesn't know which way to go, whether he goes need, needs to go back to the bag, uh, whether you know he feels comfortable going to second base. So uh, the first thing we're going to talk about is uh, varying our times to the plate. Uh, so what we're going to do is I'll go up top of the mound, we'll talk through it a little bit, is that when we vary time, that what we can do here is every time I come set, and I know a lot of young pitchers, if they're gonna pick, they usually come up and down and just pick right away. Okay, so usually that's a big indicator and every time that I hold the ball, boom, young pitchers really like to hold it for just the same exact amount of time. So I see a lot of kids and we, see, we teach them is they'll come up and go one 1,000 and they'll just pitch to the plate. A good right-handed pitcher is gonna know when and how long to hold. So all that time has to vary. So me as a pitcher, I'm going to come up one time, and I'm going to hold my hold for one second, and then I pitch. The next time I might come up, I might count to myself 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and then I pitch. The next time around, I come up and hold, 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 and then I'll step off. A move like that and all three of those are really going to disrupt a good base runner's timing and if you hold the ball for any length of time, especially a guy that really wants to go, you're going to deaden out his legs. Okay, So then you can step off. It's very good if you can control your balance and your movement on the mound that you can hold it until somebody calls time. Or if there's a point in that time that nobody is, uh, then you can step off. But that's usually a, a great way to deaden out a fast runner, deaden out his legs.